Hello there, this is yours truly, the CLJ, coming to you last time in my office with a words of wisdom about my faith and my walk and my daily, everyday needs and refreshments about about uh, about several of my life verses that, you know, from God's word, you know, the Christ Jesus or Yahshua Hamashiach yeah, and all that, all that good stuff and for the Gentiles and the Jews and the Hebrews. But yeah, so so yeah, so throughout my walk of faith for since two thousand and four, I've been acquiring, you know, God's truths, God's nuggets, and God's wisdom. You know, which goes into my words of wisdom because without wisdom, we are nothing. So 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 here it is, ladies and gentlemen. You know, those who want to listen, those with an open heart and open mind, and no judgment will be thrown here. And all that good stuff. And also for us to fellowship more as well. And here we going to begin. Now here's seven of my life verses. We'll start at number one. Life verse number one. Ephesians 6, 12, and 13 from the King James Version Bible. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. This is my personal favorite of them all, because it helps me deal, be content, and not combat with negativity on social media with negativity. Very viable. Now, if somebody becomes hostile and antagonistic, then I block and report them. My life verse number two, Hebrews 11, 1. Now, faith is the substance of all things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. My faith is belief and not by sight, by belief, not by sight. Why I do not do, and I stay away from these holy war debates if someone doesn't believe, then they don't believe, and I can't change that with anything, and they can't change my belief or disbelief either. This is where agree to disagree and respecting others' views and beliefs comes in. My life verse number three, 1 John 4, 4. Ye are of, of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he is in the world. When the going gets tough in person and on social media, this calms my soul because this parallels with Ephesians 6, 12, and 13. We're still human beings, even behind our desktops, tablets, and smartphones. My life, verse number four, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 5. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaulteth not itself and is not puffed up. Doth not be- behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. This keeps me away from the e fights, the hate base, and the clout chasing. People who really love or just de- or less decently someone who wouldn't waste time on hating or trying to one up on somebody else, he or she will always congratulating and being a good cheer and be thankful for his or own works and fruits. Pretty much don't be a player hater. And this keeps you from being a player hater because your fruits is your fruits and their fruits are their fruits. They have 10 and you only have one. Be thankful for your one and they have their 10. Because at the end of the day, we don't know what their iceberg, how big their iceberg is. But yeah, you really love them. Or decently to someone, then just love them. Don't waste time on it because this is social media in a nutshell. My life verse number six, Matthew 7, 1 to 3. Uh, judge not that ye shall be not be judged. For with, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured unto you again. And why... And why beholdest, beholdest thou the mote in that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam in thy own eye? This right here separates the Christians from the Pharisees. 
and in person, on definitely on social media. Anybody judging, point fingers at others while not looking at themselves in the mirror are not Christ-like and total hypocrites, just like the Pharisees of the Old, New Testament, which the Christ himself had to deal with. So, which I see daily on here, this verse keeps me away from being a Pharisee. It's easy to become one. It's very easy to become a Pharisee. All it takes is one. And that's it. You're a Pharisee. But great news, if I keep on reading and meditating in God's words, I won't. And even greater news, if you keep reading and meditating on God's words, you won't either. Now... My life verse number seven, Matthew ten sixteen. Behold, I send you forth as sheep into the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Like my video I posted earlier, this life verse pretty much means not now, not in the Bible meaning, but 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 you know yours truly take on the verse. Be like a serpent. Be smart. Work smart and be well grounded like the serpent. Know your surroundings and your environment. Use the venom to poison any false doctrines, any fa false teachers, and strike at the hypocrites as clear as black and white as they poison your Savior and, and, and his word in his walk. And also as your word in your walks. That's what that means to be wise as a serpent to be smart know your surroundings be well grounded and be harmless you know as i said to be gentle like a dove peaceful meek patient silent silent now that is a good one spirited and moving away from the chaos and know when to fly away pretty much just staying away from the e-fights. And when you see one, you fly away from it. You know, you're, you're supposed to be harmless like a dove, but you're supposed to be smart like a serpent. Now, time to step on many toes here, because in this generation, even the kids' parents of this generation who birthed them, they're the opposite of this. It's sad, it's fortunate, and, you know, like I said, with my... Where is it? With the, with the life verse six, it's very easy to become a Pharisee if you're not reading and meditating God's words daily. Now, you see them and I see the majority on social media of being gentle like a serpent and wise like doves. When you're wise like a dove, you have no smarts. You're not well grounded. You don't know your surroundings or environments. You're flying everywhere unknowingly without knowing where to fly at. And then when you're gentle like a reptile, like a serpent, that can be easily captured, maimed, or destroyed and spewing venom all over the place. You either strike or you expose with your own poison, making yourself falls. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is where I'm going to end it. But yeah, these are powerful verses that I, you know, practice on a daily basis. If anybody perfect, absolutely not. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. There's only one perfect being that I believe in. That is the Christ Jesus for the Gentiles and Yahama and uh, Yahshua Hamashiach for the Hebrews. And that's it. And, and the Jewish folks. There you go. Yeah. So this one day at a time, and you know, my learning lessons one day at a time. And hope that you all take this to heart and all that. And you know. Definitely comment down below, like this video, share this video, you know, sub me up on the road to 1,000 subs, and it's not possible without you, fine folks. And until the next Words of Wisdom with CLJ, peace, love, and happiness. Y'all take care of yourselves and be safe, and also safe travels. Happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating it, and and, and if not, you know, uh, uh, uh Send a shout out on social media and, you know, just be thankful. I mean, I, I mean, you know, be thankful that you have life. You have roof over your head. You got clothes on your back. You got, you know, uh, you got a place. You got hating, you got air conditioning. And I'd be happy with just two McDonald's burgers for that day because it's all about being thankful and content. That's all it is. 
Because sadly, families are just not what they are today. They're just not. So the only thing you can just do is be thankful for what you have, and especially what you see in the mirror. Be thankful for who you see in that mirror as well. I'll see you next time. God bless and be. God bless, brothers and sisters.